between CapCut and Canva, these two softwares, which of them do you think can remove video background without green screen the best? In this tutorial, I'm going to compare the two softwares to see which of them can do a better job. So without much ado, let's dive right into the tutorials. All right, guys, so let's get started. Let's see who is going to win this challenge. All right, so this is my CapCut application. I've launched over here and I have two files inside, okay? This is the first video over here and let's preview it and see. I specifically choose the video because of the actions in it, okay? You can see that the woman is dancing and there's a lot of movements in the video okay so you are going to see if CapCut can actually remove the background perfectly for us and let's preview the second video the second video i also choose this clip because of how clean it is there's no much noise at the background and because of the motions and the hair i choose this clip to see how CapCut is going to handle the removal of this video background and then this is my canva application to have, have, have uploaded the video over here to that we will come back shortly to see how it's going to go okay so i'm starting with this clip first over here let's see how best we can remove the background of this clip okay so when you click on the timeline okay so we drag the video from here and bring it here click on the timeline and then this basic under video this basic thing is going to activate for us there's a lot of functionalities under it okay so we are interested in remover click on the second icon over here this is what you are interested in and we have chroma key and then auto remover okay since this is not a green screen video we are interested in the auto remover so click on it like this click on it and check it out okay and then you can see that apply auto cut all right guys so the background removal is complete and this is the outcome okay so let's move on to the second video after we are done with all then i will show you guys the results of it all right so what i wanted to do is i'm quickly going to export this clip and then we move on to the second video okay so my export is completed all right so let's move on to the second video so let me delete this from the timeline over here and bring this one here okay there's a video click on the video here and then click on the background remover over here. and then click on auto remover click on it like this and then you see at the top that it is removing it is reading okay so i'm going to pause the video here and i'll come back when it is done the background mover of the second video too is done as well so let me export it and then i'll go to canva to also do the same over there and then when i'm done with all we'll compare the two videos to see which of the these two application did a better job so click on export all right guys so i have the first clip on my canva uh, uh, video already all right so um, what you want to do from here is that you click on the edit video button at the top over here click on it like this when you click on the edit video background at the top over here then you click on background remove and click on it like this and allow canva to do its work all right so let's wait for it to finish and then i'll come back to you when it's done all right all right guys so canva is done removing the background of our first video in the canva application so let's go to the second video over here let's follow the same process to remove the background and after that i'm going to show you guys the results of all the two videos we did all right 
all right guys so at the end of the comparison this is a job canva did And this is the job CapCut did. And comparing the two, Canva did a great job and CapCut also did a great job. Okay. In terms of handling the movement and the hair, I think Canva did a better job as compared to CapCut, all right? So in my opinion and based on the experiment or the comparison I have done, I think Canva handled the hair and then the motion, the movement more accurately as compared to CapCut. So in this comparison, I will give it to Canva. All right, guys, so this is my verdict, and I think the next time I want to use these two applications, you know which one will be of best to you. All right, so thank you for watching the tutorial, and I'll come your way with another great tutorial. Thank you.